start this video. Hello everyone, my cat has decided to make a surprise ex <laughs> appearance, so, um, <laughs> hope you enjoy that. Um, if you hear from the last video, I made some improvements, so hopefully it makes this video better than the last one. If you're new, hi! I'm going to be reading you bedtime stories. We're going to be reading some of the pigeon books because I used to read them as a child and I loved them. So, I hope that everyone enjoys. We'll be reading three of the pigeon books by Mo Williams. I hope that my cat is not a distraction because she refuses to leave. I am super sorry. <laughs> Our first story of the evening is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Williams. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen. I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, I'll be careful. I'll tell you what. I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No. I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on. Just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I'll bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. Hey, I'm back. You didn't let the tri pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks. Uh-oh. Bye. Hey. The end. On to book number two. The Pigeon Needs a Bath. By Mo Williams. Hi. I don't know if you noticed, but this pigeon is filthy, so I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. That's a matter of opinion. What a kidder. I don't need a bath. I took one last month. Mm, I think it was last month. Clean, dirty, they're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, when was the last time you had a bath? Oh, that was pretty recently. Life is so short. Why waste it on thi unimportant things? Like taking a bath. What smell? I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell. For a pigeon. You know, in some places, it's impolite to bathe. All of these flies buzzing around pss, 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 are purely coincidental. Phew. Yuck. Take a bath, dude. Let's get out of here. Fine. So if it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa. I'm not going into bath like I'm not going to like this one bit. Ooh, <laughs> they really smell. The water is too hot, too cold, lukewarm, too hot, too wet, too cold, not enough toys, too many toys, too deep, not enough deep, <laughs> too cold, now it's too hot again, too reflective. That is still too hot. Well, 
I guess this is okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Missed this bit there. Sorry. Splash! Hey, this is fun. Wash, 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 washy. La 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 la, singing in the tub. This is the life. I love bubbles. <gasps> Look at my wrinkly toes. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Ten hours later. Can I stay in the bathtub forever? Oh. <laughs> the end. My cat's back. We're on the final book of the evening, and I adjusted the camera because I realized I was cutting off some of the photo last time, so hopefully this is better. The Pigeon Has to Go to School by Mo Williams. The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Wait! Don't read that title! Too late. Rats! Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question. Any question. Well, almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. I wish there was a little chick again. Just a witty bitty chick. <laughs> not going to school. Baby wibby pigeon. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like school? What if I really, really don't like it? What if... What if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff, what about all the stuff? There's so much stuff to learn. What if I learn too much stuff and my head might pop off? I'm scared. What will happen at school? What if math? What if there's math? Or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one eye. What about lunch? What will the other birds think of me? Will, fin will finger paint stick to my feathers? What is up with these heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. There should be a place to practice those things. To, with experts to help you, and books, and classrooms, and other words to work with and play with. Maybe a playground? Oh, that is school. Well, how am I supposed to go get there anyway? <gasps> What's... Step aside, I'm coming through. The pigeon has to go to school. The end. It was only my second YouTube video, but I hope that I did well. And if you are still awake at the end, hopefully you're at least sleepy. And if you enjoyed this, come back next Tuesday.